hey 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 what is up you guys welcome back welcome back welcome back to a what uh-huh quick little video as you can tell by the title of this video this video is about just the prankster and mama red yes just the prankster and mama red are having some issues mama red took to social media and let social media know that her and Jess have not talked in damn near a year and she was feeling kind of hurt just take a look at this clip a lot of people think that jessica moved back home to atlanta with me jessica left here July the 28th or the 29th of last year, she moved to California and did what she did. Hoorah, hoorah. Jessica has not come back to this house. Jessica comes to Atlanta. She don't call. She don't come by. She don't do none of that. Okay? I am not in contact with Jessica. Okay? Me as a parent, you try to control your kids. You try to control your kids. You try to do the best you can. You try to lead them in the right way. And some kids just don't want to listen to what you got to say. Okay? Um, I never tried to harm Jessica in any way. I, what I did was try to mother her and give her advice that she did not want to take. Um, it's froze. Is, is it the live froze? Okay. Um, you know, I, I, I don't I don't have no grudges against anybody or anything. Um, I love Jessica to death, always will. Don't have no problems with her. But Jessica um, has people in her life right now that don't know um, what happened or what they think is going on. Um, she's following, you know, a, a certain people that um, don't know the backstory. As a matter of fact, they don't know the story at all, okay? Um, I'm just coming on here to let people know she's not at home, um, you know, and, you know, when people get on social media, they believe everything they see or they believe everything that comes across social media, okay? Um, I don't post nothing on social media that I can't back up. Okay, and in order for you to be a woman, to stand your ground, or whatever you want to stand on, is your prerogative. Okay, but don't come sending messages or posting about the duo is back together. Okay, because we're not back together. Okay. So, of course, that video instantly went viral. People heard that news and they're looking like, what the hell do you mean? Jess isn't speaking to Mama Red. If Without Mama Red, there'd be no Jess. And without no Jess, there'd be no Mama Red. They're like a, a duo. Like, so, of course, people start sending Jess messages. And according to Jess, she start receiving threatening messages and t emails and DMs, etc., etc. Well, you know that old saying, what don't come out in the wash always comes out in the rinse. And Jess had a response that people were not expecting to hear. Here. take a look. right to that they heard it and they quickly started hating i received death threats hundreds of people telling me i'm worthless me and mama red started making money when i was 15 years old all the way until i was 19 because when i was 19 years old i left her residence from the age of 15 to the age of 19 i've never received full half payments of anything that i have worked for now, what I can say that Mama Red has given me $500, she's maybe given me $1,000, $1,500, but it's always been small portions of money. And I was told to make it last for the whole month. There will be months where we've made five times that amount of money she has given me. 30% would go to our agents, she get the dollars to me. Now, when you are under a contract, and it doesn't matter if you're under a contract or not, if you are working with someone, granted, you are my mother, you are supposed to split things equally because I am working as hard as you are working as well. It doesn't matter if we have bills to pay. It doesn't matter if you buy me things. It doesn't matter if I'm spending incorrectly. I make the money, and if I want to go out and spend my money incorrectly, then I can do it. I appreciate her for 
trying to lead me on the right path as far as money and finances but I definitely feel like it was wrong for me to never out of the five years of making content with her that I've never gotten full half the amount of money that I was earned or that I've worked for when I turned 18 um, and mind you, before your child turns 18, if you are running a business with them, or you are supposed to put money in that child's savings account or bank account, and you stock that money up until they turn 18, you give them that card and say, here you go, you are legal. When I turned 18, I had nothing. I didn't have money saved up. I didn't have anything. And even after I turned 18, even when I was 19, I was still getting small portions of money. And honestly, I feel like this isn't shocked that Mama Red has gone to the internet stating these things. I appreciate everything that Mama Red has done for me. Yes, she has taken me in. Yes, she has raised me. Yes, she's done everything in her will to make sure I was good in a way this isn't even about money this is about ways that I have been treated um I will say at times I wasn't really treated fairly but it, it, it will be times where I wanted to hang out with friends and enjoy the moment and I had to make content an excuse or a reason to hang out with a friend. I always felt like I wasn't able to hang out with friend if content was not involved. Granted, I know it's work and I know that's how we make money, but at the end of the day, I'm still a human being and I don't want a camera in my face 24 seven. My face 24 seven. It was the time where Mama Red has told me, I called her mom, um, I think we were in a disagreement and she has told me to not call her mom because she's not my mom. And this was maybe like two years ago. I never got gotten an apology for that. And you know that that really hurt me because I don't have I don't really have family. It'll be days where she wake up angry and she take her anger out on me and she has admitted to that and you know a person can only handle so much i'm not going to say i was the best kid in the world i'm not going to sit here and, and tell you i was an angel it was times where i had my room dirty it was times where i talked back it was times where i was defiant all t you know teenagers you know through that teenage stage where you think you just know everything i'm not going to sit here and say I was an angel because that was not the case but as a parent as a mother it's just certain ways you handle situations um granted we made videos me and mama red did not have the best bond she told me that i needed to work a nine to five job because i'm super ungrateful i need to know how to work for money so her and my used to be agents came up with this thing where I work a nine to five. Basically, I wake up at eight every single morning and I post six videos a day. During this nine to five, I was not allowed to be on my phone texting. I wasn't allowed to scroll social media. And if she did call, uh, catch that, she said she was going to take my phone. I always felt like Mama Red kept me short minded. It was a day that she stated that um, I will always need her. Well, she will tell me that I won't survive alone. I wasn't able to move out. I wasn't able to pick my own college. I wasn't allowed to go to the gym. I wasn't allowed to be at the gym more than a certain time. I just felt stuck. I felt controlled. I felt depressed i felt like i couldn't really express myself and honestly it was to the point where i went days without eating and i'm not going to say because i was scared to come out of my room but more so because i didn't want to say the wrong things and we argued you can call me selfish you can call me whatever you want. You can call me 
less of a human. You can call me worthless because, you know, those are the comments that I'm seeing. You can call me a liar. You guys can call me anything you want in the book. But God knows my heart and God knows that I always move with love. I've kept quiet for a almost a year now. Next month will be a year. And if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have had made uh, this video. It's just hurtful. I am still young. I make mistakes. I am human at the end of the day. I am not perfect at all. I'm human. I have feelings. I've always been kissing ass. I've always been the type to make sure everybody else is okay before me. And I'm still like that. But now I am at the point where I need to just do what's best for me. Me and Mama Red came up together. We we did everything together. And I felt it. And just like the caption says, there is three sides to every story. And it sounds like Jess was fed up with Mama Red's mess. And that's just what it is. She feels like she was putting in a lot of work and not receiving her compensation. It's no different than if your child was working at McDonald's and they were putting in 40 hours a week and they were only getting paid for 20. You would be pissed off. It just took her some time to be able to walk away from the situation because it sounds like she probably does have love for Mama Red. She did step in and take care of her when nobody else was there for her, but she kind of felt defeated as a young girl and child and then as she grew up she realized hey i'm putting in this work so i should be receiving my money i feel like mama red was bogus as hell for taking this to the internet when she could have probably just picked up the phone and reached out to her or sent her a letter sent her an email there was a way for her to contact her there's just no way that she has no way to contact her and if jess was not interested in contacting or being in contact with her that is her choice that is her choice. She is not obligated to talk to that woman. Like she said, she appreciated what she did for her. But the things that she did for to her after 15 isn't cool. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And this woman's end up taking this girl's money and not giving her fair percentage of the money that they made together. That's not right. I've seen a lot of comments of people saying like, y'all don't know how it is to be a single mom and being out here struggling. Regardless of the struggle, if this young lady put in the work her mom does not own rights to her money automatically. That's just not how it goes. It definitely sucks that they are in the situation, but sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. Money gets into the mix of things and people find out people's true colors and ill intentions. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles. That's just the way it goes. For the love of money is the root of all evil. For the love of money is the root of all evil and people will definitely end friendships families and everything in between over money and when it's all said and done we can't take none of this with us but per usual i am curious to see how this all plays out um i hope they are able to make men's and just have some type of healthy relationship and if not just let bygones be got bygones move on with their lives and not bash each other on social media because it's not worth it but make sure you like follow and share and until next time beautiful people peace Trump.